Hello my friends, surprise, I speak in English. As you know, I usually upload a video about landscape photography every two weeks in Italian. But from now on, I decided to create content in English for three main reasons. First, to embrace a bigger audience, obviously. Second, I think that Ital my Italian audience understand English. I hope so. And third, because my English is not so good. Yeah, you understand it. <laughs> What better opportunity than this? Even though many of you already know me, I still have to introduce myself to my new international friends. My name is Andrea Cimini and I am an Italian professional photographer. I keep this blog on landscape photography, but I also deal with sports and events photography. So I decided to create bonus video about it in addition to landscape photography videos. BAM! I was chosen as the official photographer of Acea Maratona di Roma 2019 by the main sponsor and that, without notice, neither for you nor for me. I'll show you my shots. I use two Fujifilm X-T2, that's it. And, as you can see from the photos, I would say they were more than enough. I take off this bit, it's quite uncomfortable. <laughs> The funny thing is that many other photographers, and believe me, there were quite a lot, <laughs> looked at me as I was crazy. Reflex, reflex, reflex. I'll tell you a secret. If you don't have a reflex, you're not a pro. The only other mirrorless I saw was a Nikon Z7, and a couple of photographers even approached me, asked me why I was using a damn Fuji camera to shoot sport. And the answer is simple, comfort. And it's going to rain and there is no more light, so I turn down the lights. <sighs> we can go on. My agreement was to deliver five to six post-produced photos every two hours to the main sponsor. Now we'll show you my setup. Two Fujifilm X-T2. Actually, you've seen an X-T2 and a Canon A1 because with the second X-T2 I'm shooting this video. They are practically identical in size and shape. One Fuji 50 to 140, uh, 70 to 100 in full frame. A 16 to 55, 24 to 75 in full frame. A 10 to 24, but what you're seeing now is my old Samyang uh, 35 Rokinon 35 1.4, which I smashed during a job. It's a real story. It's a very, 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 very sad story. Maybe we will talk about it sooner or later. I don't know. However, I put it there because I'm using the, the 10 to 24 to shoot this video and they are more or less the same size. A Fuji 35 1.4 corresponding to uh, uh, 50, an endless series of batteries, an equally endless series of memory cards and card readers, a power bank, a pack of business cards, very, very important, a Nissan i60, I, I don't know the pro pronounce, but I think the name is i60, flash, and batteries, batteries for a month. I think. Two shoulder straps, two rain covers for the backpack, a rain cover for the cameras, 
three battery chargers, cleaning lenses and sensor equipment, a laptop, spare battery, power supply and Ethernet cable, a poncho, style first guys, style first, and finally a bottle of water, all inside a Tamrock Anvil backpack, which weighed two kilos alone, empty. Wow, lots of things, lots of stuff. And I held my backpack from 7 and 30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now, let's imagine I switched my kit with a Canon equivalent, um, 1DX to give an example. Basically, all the photographers there were using this camera. So, we're talking about double the weight. Second, size. I took all my stuff into a bag, a not so big bag, a Tamrak Anvil. Third, external dials and ergonomics. More than one photographers asked me how I could quickly change my setup, the setup of my camera, with those damn dials, external dials. This is a question I asked a lot, many times, before moving to Fuji. But the answer is simple. I don't set the camera while the action is taking place, but before. I often heard uh, uh, Fuji photographers speaking about that Fuji cameras help you to think. And this is precisely the point. The thing I love the most of my Fuji is that I can change my setup while the camera is turned off. Fourth, tropicalization. It rained all day. <laughs> And it was quite cold, not really uh, spring weather. I took the first shot of the day at 7 and 30 pm and it rained. And the top runner was almost at the end of the finish line. And guess what? It rained. At some point, the sun came out. All of the photographers began to to change all the setups of the camera and curse the sky because um, compared to the finish line we were against the sun. Although the things lasted a few minutes <laughs> and it's quite cold, the sun warming the water my camera took for all day during the sensor. Catastrophe. <laughs> I decided to took pictures anyway, but they were matte, a sort of uh, opacity, and in that situation of risk, I decided to risk more detaching the, 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 the lenses from my cameras to allowing the, the water to evaporate again, and it woke. <laughs> so, I lost the arrival of the first man, but I managed to, to take the post-victory exultation and the arrival of the first woman. Luckily, my clients were lenient. They say to me that it could have happened to anyone and the rest of my pictures are magnificent, so uh, I, I, I would have not to worry. But I was torn because on one end, I'm telling myself I was not paying enough attention to the sun. On the other hand, the cameras should be tropicalized, so the humidity should have not entered it. But it's also true, I was under the rain for more than three hours. So tropicalization is good, but at some point it's like being underwater. <laughs> Having said that, would I change my equipment because of this travel? Mm, no, I'm fine, thanks. I love Fuji ergonomics and size of cameras, and I think image quality is stunning for an APS-C sensor. I would like to know if something like that has happened to you too. Write in the comment, please. In any case, now I know better the, the limits of my equipment and I know that I have to pay more attention to such a situation. So we are at the end. Thank you a lot for following this video. And if you like it, I would immensely grateful if you sign up to this channel. For you, it's a small gesture, but for me, it's very important. You will find the release date of the next episode here on YouTube, on my channel, on the cover of my channel. But until then, 
Have a good photos. Thank you.